So behind the house, which we will get to see a little later in the backyard, they have an RV back there that mom and dad are staying in. So there's plenty of property behind the pool. Just to tell you that now. Another um, bedroom. The front of the house, beautiful courtyard, fireplace, and this is an ensuite bathroom. I'm gonna go into the master. It's not a huge master, but it has a double-sided fireplace that goes into the master bath. And this is a door that goes to the backyard. Some beautiful views. We'll, I'll climb upstairs to the rooftop a little later. And this is a walk-in shower. I'm not going to chat too much. I just really want you to see some of the finishes. This is a smaller house than the one we saw over the weekend. It's the walk-in shower. And the walk-in closet. Kind of the his and her side. do the kitchen last but I'm sure you've seen a lot of photos online So all the way behind here, there's still 220 hookup and, you know, access if you have an RV. This is obviously someone else's property. You know, certain areas have several homes developed. The access into this community was through a dirt road off of the main drag of 136th Street and then another dirt road into this little enclave of homes. So beautiful mountain views. Yes, you can see the power lines. That's kind of how they have to get them from mountain pass to mountain pass. Beautiful covered patio, super high ceilings. artificial turf here. Very private once you're here in the pool. Oh, the sheds do stay. And here's the RV gate access and behind here is where the RV is. So there's a clean out, as I said, 220. Beautiful views from here, really stunning. So I'll just do a little quick pass upstairs. Let's see what kind of views we have from here. It's 
so funny the televisions have gotten so much larger than the space they allowed for back when they built the homes in 2005. All right, don't get dizzy while I'm climbing the stairs. I'm getting dizzy. Okay, the rooftop, AC unit. I don't know if this is an old solar. Uh, just a little bit on these roofs. This is rolled roofing. And when they build them, they usually put the rolled roofing in. Usually after five to seven years, they need a tension or they put an elastomeric coating over them. It's not often that you rip it up and re-roll it, but there are a lot of seams. It looks like it's been sealed recently. Quite a bit of horse property in this section. And I'm going to go down, take a pass of the kitchen. Is there gas in the house they use? Propane is it propane? Yes. Yep. Okay. Hmm. 